Have you ever stared into the open and colorless areas next to your monitor, sitting and pondering about the meaningless of your own existence? Well, crisis no more with Corsair's new Epileptic Nightmare! Introducing the IQ LT100 Smart Lighting Towers for only $130. But is that price justified, and are these towers on their own enough to make you happy? Or is it a waste to get these just to find out that you needed hundreds of dollars of other Corsair lighting products? Corsair is continuing its never-ending mission to cover absolutely everything you own in blinding colored light, as well as get every single extra dollar out of your pocket. Oh, and I'm in. I know I'm sitting here painting Corsair in a really negative light, but really when it comes down to it, their RGB lighting is the best you're gonna find, and especially their IQ software makes syncing almost all of their light products incredibly easy. It's a pretty big deal. So it's really not crazy to see why they charge $130 to add these lighting towers to your PC setup. And obviously you all have every single one of their IQ products, right? You got your 10 fans, full custom water loop, eight LED strips, the gaming keyboard, the gaming mouse, the gaming headset, and of course you gotta have that monitor backlighting. I mean, what person doesn't have every single one of these products already, right? Well, you see, I doesn't. All I've got to pair with the lighting towers is a wireless headset, a compatible mother, board and those very cute eight LED strips. And once I get those towers set up, then I can go in and find somewhere to put all these LED baby boys. But no more goofing around. Let's open this up and get right into these light machines. There's nothing like a good healthy box, my friends. I'm not the hugest Corsair fan, but boy, they do some stuff right. Look how nice that packaging is. We've got two light bases with one of them being the controller, power cord. We've got two 422 millimeter towers here, and between them, they have 92 total LEDs. And ooh doggy, these things do feel quite substantial. You can tell this construction is actually meant to last. I already got a micro USB. Connector cable, a really cool addition, the removable headset holder. And it's very cheap, but it's cool that they added it. They didn't have to. Corsair also offers additional towers at 60 bucks a pop. Then you can have up to four glorious light sticks for all that magic color energy. Corsair says that the goal of this is to add immersive ambient lighting to your gaming setup. So that's exactly what I'm gonna test and I'm gonna see if it does fill me with ambient and immersive. To start, I'm gonna put these towers together. I'm gonna run them just by themselves, no LED strips. I'm gonna move them around the desk, try them in different spots, try different modes. I wanna see how this works just as a standalone product before we try the LED strips as well. Then after that's where it's really gonna shine. I'm gonna grab those eight LED strips. I'm gonna stuff as many as I can into that micro ATX case. I doubt they're all gonna fit. I also have an idea to where I'm probably gonna have it run out of the back where you can't really see it too good and put them on the back of the monitor so we kind of make our own little behind monitor thing going on. It should look real fun, real good. I swear to God, this is over $200 worth of just RGB lighting. It better look really damn good or I am gonna scream. If anybody out there is concerned about this being difficult or being something you can't handle, well, you're wrong because it is super, super simple. Pops into the base, boom. I tried this once real quick. Didn't even have to look at the manual or anything because I guess I'm just a super genius, right? Nope, it's just horribly easy. On the back here, we've got plugs. So for this, we're just gonna connect these together. We've got a micro USB, we've got the connector cord between the bases, and then we've just got the power. Connect the power up, bam, bam. Plug in our micro USB, and that's just gonna connect to the computer. So before I start running through the IQ software, I'm gonna put these in the first placement, then I'm gonna put the camera behind, I'm gonna kick down the lights so we can get a better idea of what it looks like in a, in a darker, more realistic environment. We can go in and make each specific LED do whatever we want. We can have one go, we can have the other go. First, I just wanna go through all the predefined options and see what each one does, see which ones look good. To show off all the modes, I'm gonna have them facing forward, and then I'm gonna show my favorite modes and customs facing the wall. Like most RGB, there's a couple different rainbow options, and pretty much every mode can run random RGB or one or two alternative colors. Wave is just gonna rotate up or down, while rainbow is just gonna cycle through the colors. Color shift pretty much does the same thing as rainbow. It cycles through the colors. It just isn't as smooth on the transitions. Color pulse breathes in and out to different colors. Color wave has four to five LEDs scaling up, but this can be staggered using two different effects. Sequential runs one color from one side to the other. Strobing basically flashes in and out with a slight pause when it's out. 
Rain is a very loud option. It's a lot for me to handle. It just seems to be flashing one LED at a time to random colors. This is gonna turn into a lot really quick. Visor is just a cluster of four to five random colored LEDs bouncing from one side to the other. I do think rain is a good option if you set the speed to slow and you stagger it out with two separate effects. Marquee is easily one of my favorites. It's a flashy mode that mixes light with dark spots and it creates a pretty cool effect. This is one where you can go in and overlap it with another color of the same effect. Temperature is pretty simple. You can have it read off various sensors on your motherboard. Then you can set different colors and temperature thresholds to see what state your computer's in. Obviously, if you want something simple, you can go in and set a custom static color. Gradient is a cool mode where you can go in and really set yourself some custom options here. It just kind of requires time that I'm not really wanting to put into it. Video lighting, I think, is a really cool mode that goes based off the visuals on screen. And the colors are also going to match what it sees on screen. Fireplace and Borealis just seem to be an example of marquee that they set. One being orange, one being a blue-green. The last category is Lighting Link. It's a collection of the other modes that automatically synchronizes all devices that you have connected through IQ. I'll have a much better example of this whenever I connect the LED strips. So when it comes to the towers facing one way or the other, I definitely would say that I prefer them facing the wall. The light that bounces off is definitely a lot softer. It's more of that ambient immersive thing that they were talking about. The downside here is if you only have two, they're not exactly the brightest things. If you have too much daylight coming in through the windows or too many lights on, you're really not gonna see them all that well, but they definitely shine bright in the dark. I'm really just hoping that I have enough room in this tiny little case for enough of these strips. Installing these light strips really isn't what this video is about. I should have done it before, but here we are. Let's see if we can get all these linked together real nice. Oh, there she is. That's enough for the front side. Yeah, I do got plenty of strips left, so let's see if we can't get a little bit creative here. From the controller, ran it all the way in through here, down out the bottom. We got one strip on the back here underneath. That should pop out real nice. And we have it slipping out of the back here, and so we can get that to the back of the monitor. Yes, I finally did it. Did you not think I could? Did you not think I could? Now we can get all these colors lit up here. We can get that headset going and we can see exactly what this bad boy looks like. So I made a few synced up profiles that I really like across the board. Let's take a look at those. I made the default profile just a light, pretty neutral, slightly green color for any time that I just wanna throw something up. I chose the spiral rainbow mode because it syncs across everything. And this is gonna give just that regular RGB across everything flashing just a little bit. It's not over ridiculous. It's just kind of a nice, dull, colorful, fun time. Similarly, I used the rain profile under lighting link. This one, again, I didn't have to do very much for. I just had to sync up those thermal take fans. And this really does have that epileptic, colorful, crazy nightmare feel that I was really going for. I have no idea what I would ever use this for. It's kind of ridiculous. It's all over the place. It's a lot to handle, but it's fun. And it shows just kind of what you can do with it. And for the last profile, I would say this is more of the default that I'd be looking for. I went in and actually did a lot of custom effects, especially whenever I went into the LED strips. There was a lot of different playing around I needed to do to get all the colors to mix and match. The idea of this is to just have contrast across the board. I wanted the PC to be a mixture of both purple and orange. And we can do this because we've got full control, lots of lights, and it's looking real good. So after playing around with all this for quite a while, I'm thinking it's really not worth $130 but it is cool and fun. It's kind of like those Nano Leaf panels. They're like 200, 230 bucks. They don't take up a lot of room, but people like them, people keep buying them. So you know what? This is kind of the exact same thing, but I would say that's mainly focused on if you just have the towers by themselves. For someone like me, I've got the eight LED strips, the headset, the motherboard, lots of other lights that I can combine. And once I did that, putting the strips on the back of the monitor, putting them in the PC, having it all sync up across everything, you know what, this was really, really cool and there's a ton of different things I can do with this. The pre-made modes that they have are really easy to use and a couple of them look really good. They're ones that I'm gonna be using. And as always, the IQ software has a ton of customization options for anyone that wants to put the time in, you're gonna be able to make it look exactly however you want, make everything look just perfect. For me to get my workstation looking exactly like I wanted with the half purple, half orange contrast all over the place, it really didn't take very long, probably like 15, 20 minutes to get all that set up and I'm really happy with it. 
It was also a pretty good surprise finding out that the build quality is really good on these, setting it up was incredibly easy, and the headphone holder is pretty cool. They didn't have to add that, like I said, it's kind of a cheap piece, but it it's nice. It's a nice little touch. You know what, even so, I'm gonna say don't buy it. For $130, my God, you can get so many other things that are way more important. Don't be stupid like me. I definitely don't need this. What is it gonna do for me? I don't know, I do think it's kind of cool. No, don't be like me. Don't let yourself trick yourself into spending money you don't need to spend on junk. It's not junk, but don't buy it because you definitely don't need it unless you just have money to blow and you have lots of other money to use. God dang it, this ain't a finance channel. Do whatever you want with your money. It's cool, whatever, I don't care. I don't care, do whatever. Bye.